In this video, we're going to take a look at Heron's formula. Heron's formula can be used to find the area of a triangle if we're given the three side lengths of that triangle. So let's take a look at what the formula looks like first of all. Well, in the formula, we have the area is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b oops times s minus c okay and you might be thinking well wait a minute what are all those s's well s it turns out is one half the perimeter of the triangle that we're working with and the reason that it's s is because it stands for the semi perimeter which is half the perimeter kinda like a semi circle is half of a circle so we have that S, which is half the perimeter, and then our A, B, and C are those side lengths. So let's take a look at applying this formula to a particular triangle to find the area. So for this first one, we first need to find that um, perimeter. So we're going to add up 12 plus 13 plus 14. We're going to multiply that by 1 half. Take half of that. So 12 plus 13 is 25 plus 14 would be 39 and we're gonna multiply that by one half which would be 19.5 okay so then we go ahead and we're going to insert that into our formula so we need to go ahead and start filling in those things into that big old square root we've got going there. So I'm going to say A for area is equal to the square root of S. Oops, S. We know what S is now. Let's put it in there. 19.5 times S minus A. So it's going to be 19.5 minus, and I'm just going to work my way around here, 12 times 19.5 oops 19.5 minus 13 and then 19.5 minus 14 all right it's gonna be the square root of that whole big thing so that gives us a which is the area is equal to 19.5 times 19.5 minus 12 would be 7.5 times 19.5 minus 13 would be 6.5 times 19.5 minus 14 would be 5.5 then we go ahead and multiply all those things so now we have 19.5 times 7.5 times 6.5 and times 5.5 that gives us the square root of 5228.4375 okay then we need to take the square root of that and if we do that we have 5228.4375 take the square root and we have 72 point we'll round to the nearest tenth point three so the area of this triangle is about 72.3 and if we had a units it would be units squared because remember areas are in square units alright so that's the first one let's take a look at this second one again Heron's formula and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, clear out this other stuff that I did here so that we've got lots of room to work so here we go let's take a look and fill in what we need for the second one again the first step is gonna be to find the perimeter and then take half of it so I'm gonna and that's gonna be my s so s is equal to one half times twelve plus 7 plus 15 12 plus 7 is 
19 plus 15 would be 34. And then we got to take half of that, so that's going to be equal to 17. So S is 17. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and fill those things in to my area formula. So we're going to have A for area is equal to S, which is 17 times 17 minus 12 times 17 <coughs> minus 7 times 17 minus 15. All right, then simplify there. We have the square root of 17 times 17 minus 12 is 5. 17 minus 7 is 10. And 17 minus 15, oops, forgot to close that parenthesis, is 2. Then multiply all those things together. 17 times 5 times 10 times 2 gives me the square root of 1700. Okay, then I just need to take the square root of that, which gives me about 41 point, approximately 41.2. So the area of this triangle is 41.2. Now, Heron's formula. Again, the first thing that we need to do to use Heron's formula is to find the perimeter. We take half of that. That is what we call S in the formula. Then we just fill in and we're taking S and then multiplying it by the difference between S and each side length in that triangle. Take the square root of that whole thing and we end up with our area. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do fantastic.